Nevada's first choice for news. This is 8 News Now, Weekend Edition. Well, hi, everybody. The Rebels are hoping they can ride their wave to a win over San Diego State tonight. But the Aztecs, going into the game, had won seven in a row on the road in the Mountain West and six in a row overall against the Rebels. Tough test tonight at the Thomas & Mac. The Rebels, though, look strong early as the light show gets them excited at the Thomas & Mac. Early on here. How about Patrick McCall with a baseline three-pointer? got the Rebels going. Then from the outside, Steven Zimmerman, if he can hit these jump shots consistently, Rebels are going to be tough to beat. Okay, scores tied midway through the first, then this happens. Ben Carter out of Gorman High School goes up high for the rebound, goes down with a sprained left knee. That's the latest word on Carter. It looked bad. Could be worse than a sprain, but let's hope that's all it is. He did not return. Second half, Derek Jones Jr. with a nice looking layup to keep it close. But the Aztecs had an answer for everything the Rebels tried tonight. Trey Kell with a three as the shot clock expires. Yeah, shot of the game for the Rebels, though. Probably this one here. Ike Nwamu with a breakaway dunk. Thought he was going to lay this up at first, and then, nah, he can take and slam it down. A little bit later, McCaw feeds Jones for the dunk in the foul. It was a six-point game with about seven minutes left, but rebounding a big problem for the Rebels tonight. Winston Shepard out of Findlay Prep working it down low. The Rebels lose by 15, and it hurt to have one of their big men, Ben Carter, out with that injury. And, uh, so certainly, you know, taking Ben out of that equation, um, you know, and he's really respected amongst the team. He's one of our leaders and, and kind of saw a little bit of the air go out of, the, you know, not only the the team in the building but you know that kind of shows how important Ben is to everybody and and um, you know we didn't didn't quite bounce back uh, the way we needed to from that and, and it kind of changes changes everything for our team and let's hope the best for Ben Carter there okay two of the top light heavyweights in the UFC battling tonight at the Prudential Center in Newark New Jersey Ryan Bader from Reno, he's the guy on the right here, an All-American wrestler at Arizona State, against Anthony Rumble Johnson, continuing his brilliant UFC comeback from his days with the World Series of Fighting, and then was, of course, with the UFC before this. Well, Bader takes Johnson down early in the first round. That was a big mistake. A big mistake. Johnson moves Bader over to the corner there in the cage and gets his arm loose and just starts grounding and pounding. That's a technical term, by the way, Michelle. Grounding and pounding. One of those shots knocked Bader out, and Rumble Johnson wins. Just a minute and a half into the fight, this knockout is the 10th for Johnson in the UFC, tied for third on the all-time list. Johnson, comfortable. It's 205 pounds is what he's fighting at now. He is headed back to a title shot. He is set to take on the winner of the John Jones-Daniel Cormier fight. No date has been set for that rematch. Of course, that would be a great one when it happens. Okay, one week from tonight, it will be Super Bowl Eve. Can you feel the excitement already? One week from tonight, <laughs> Super Bowl Eve. Tension mounting. How about this for you? The opening of Super Bowl City today near Market Street in the Embarcadero, downtown San Francisco. All sorts of excitement in the city. Although street vendors are protesting because they've been kicked out of the area for eight days. But you got to make room for Super Bowl City and a zip line. It's flying over a much smaller version of the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, although I would like to see a real zip line on the real Golden Gate Bridge, maybe to Alcatraz. Oh. What, huh? Would that be a zip line? <laughs> I'm just saying, it'd be fun. The city, though, is looking good here. Fired up. I do want to mention something important here, something critical here, okay? Uh, and put it into a controversy that might be out there. Super Bowl is two words, not one. Oh. Okay, see some of the trash out there, they're trying to get that cleaned up there in the city. But in case you had a question, in case you didn't know, some people write Super Bowl as one word. So on your invitations to the, your party coming up, here, it is two words if you're having a big Super Bowl party. You want to put it that way. We can count on you not only for sports, but for spelling and grammar no, tips do not as count well. On me. I read that somewhere online. <laughs> do not count on me for any spelling or grammar. But I heard uh, that somewhere that is two words. There you go. Well, now we know. All We've learned so much in today's broadcast. Just here to serve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, Super Bowl 50 is coming up. Ron kept us up to speed on that. A News Now is giving away $2,500 on our special newscast following the game. All you have to do is head to our website, lasvegasnow.com, and click on the contest banner or go to our Facebook page. You can catch the Denver Broncos go head-to-head -head with the Carolina Panthers for Super Bowl 50 right here on February 7th on 8 News Now. 